one. Two. Like Fallout Shelter, we wanted an experience that we were not finding anywhere else. Here it is. Blades, at its heart, is a pure Elder Scrolls game. A massive first-person RPG with console-quality graphics, but with a uniquely mobile experience. Believe me when I say you have to see this running on an iPhone 10. This gigantic screen does not do it justice. You can tap to move or use dual sticks. Combat is all new, and it follows your specific movements and timings. Harkening back to the first Elder Scrolls Arena, this game features both handcrafted and procedurally generated dungeons. And it's not just melee, you have a range of abilities and spells you can use. And of course, you can create your own character and be who you want to be. Improving them, leveling up, picking new abilities. And the entire game can be played in portrait mode. That one was incredibly important to us, that you could play it however you wanted. You never know when you'll need a free hand. To hold your coffee, what are you... Degenerates. And it's not just dungeons, it's incredible outdoor areas. Yes, running on a phone. It really looks and plays incredible. <clears throat> Bla Blaze has several modes of play. First, the Abyss, a roguelike experience where you can see how far you can go in an endless dungeon. And the Arena, where you will do battle one-on-one -on -one against other players. And the main mode, the town. This is the hub for your story and quests. You are a member of the Blades, the Empire's top agents. Forced into exile, you return home to find your town destroyed and need to rebuild it. Yes, Blades also features a town building mode. You'll decide what your town looks like and be able to upgrade and decorate all of the individual elements in it. As your town levels up, you'll unlock new NPCs, quests, and more. You can even visit your friend's towns. This <laughs> This is an Elder Scrolls game that you can play however and wherever you want. And we are going to bring Blades to every device and system we can. Phones, PCs, consoles, also virtual reality, yes. on mobile, all the way up to high-end VR on PCs. And what's really cool is all of those connect to each other. So one of my dreams so we'll go back to that portrait mode, which I like to call meeting mode. Because if you're in a meeting on your f playing a game, in portrait mode, no one knows you're playing a game. And so with Blades, you can be in a meeting playing Blades against someone at home in VR. Blades is coming this fall for free. And you can pre-order it tonight on both the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Also, this week, Go to playblades.com and register for early access. If you're here at E3, Blades is going to be playable in our booth. So please, come by and check it out. You really need to see it running on the phone. We'd love to see you. Please come by. Three.
music. We've been on this journey with Clementine since 2012. We had no idea that Clem was going to mean so much to players. When we first started working on Walking Dead, we knew it was a redemption story about the man named Lee. And Clementine was the lens that we see all of our actions. For this to really work, I think we needed a Clementine who was smart. We needed a character who was self-reliant. We needed a character who was there to help you and, and not be a hindrance. <laughs> It's kind of a risk putting a kid uh, as a main character in a game. The fact that she was such a likable character, her heartbreaking relationship with Lee was amazing. She started out as a symbol of something to worry about, but she became a symbol of hope. She became something that represented what we all live for. I always look at Clementine season two as being defined by survivor skill. Stuff has happened, time has gone by, and she's not as trusting immediately of people she meets, and they're not trusting of her. The whole season of season two was about kind of weighing the options of how do you define your own family. One of the more defining characters that she meets in season two is Carver. In episode three, you know, he's basically like, you're not like the rest of them. You're meant to lead. You're not meant to follow. You can make the hard decisions. It is not difficult at all when things like the finale of season two happen where you have to make this horrible decision to feel that. I really legitimately felt so horribly sad in that session. What a horrible, tragic ending. I was actually surprised at how many people, uh, in the end, ended up going off on their own. The Clementine you meet at the beginning of season three is definitely shaped by the events of two. She's had a really rough go of it. Those that do survive generally tend to be those that have withdrawn into themselves and found internal strengths to kind of deal with the horrors. It all seemed to fit very well with where she's at in season three. There are times when I'm, when I'm doing Clementine's voice in season three where she is a bit lower than my voice. This area I have to speak in my throat, I can't really explain it. Season two was all about her trying to make a go of it in new families and new communities and how that really did not go well. Over the course of season three, she meets a family with which, by the end, it did work. And so she's, I think, rejuvenated. In The New Frontier, Clem got to see something that she hadn't been exposed to in a long time a functional family, a family that was still caring for each other throughout everything that they had gone through in the world of The Walking Dead so far. And she set out at the end of A New Frontier with one singular goal in mind, which was to find AJ and make that again for herself. Now, what she's gonna do when she finds him, that is the story of season four, that is the story of future Clem. Who she wants to be, who she wants to be with, and how she wants to be, those are decisions the player's gonna make. It was hearing from the fans all the way through season one, hearing that response. And that's what drove our decision to play as her in this fourth and final season. You will play as Clem. This will be Clem's story. It's going to be an amazing experience. Thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. It's been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and so much uh, love has been behind this whole experience. Good luck. I'll be right there with you.